what's going on guys welcome to my channel in this video i want to share with you guys exactly my top three four maybe ides that i use as a software engineer so this is my you know personal preference and i highly recommend you um, if you program in the languages that i'm about to share with you but this is what i usually uh, recommend to most people uh, that want to get into software development. Now, these IDEs will speed up your development and also the community around them is massive. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you exactly my top three IDEs. Um, and also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because that way I can keep on uh, providing you guys with content like this. And also make sure you smash that like button. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer. So basically the first IDE that I, uh, uh, I wanna recommend is VS Code. So this is what I'm actually showing you guys, VS Code. So this IDE is by far the best IDE for pretty much almost everything. So the cool thing about VS Code is that it has a lot of plugins for pretty much every language out there. And for um, JavaScript, when it comes to JavaScript, Node, you know, front-end development, this is the IDE that I use. So also I, I do, I tend to do, uh, you know, lots of Terraform. So VS Code is the IDE that I use. So, you know, it has lots of plugins, you know, themes, you can customize it the way you want it. And it's just it's just amazing. So currently this is this is my setup. So I don't have many plugins, um, but the ones that I that I recommend here, uh, which are really really awesome, is if you for example want to do pair programming with other people, they have this live share plugin. So this is really cool because you can start a collaboration session and then just you know invite a lot of people, and then just invite a lot of developers, and pretty much you know, they can see what you type and they can also contribute live. So this is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, so I mainly use this for front-end development, Node, uh, I use that for, uh, I use VS Code for Node as well, and Terraform. But if you want to use, for example, Python, it's really awesome. It has lots of plugins for Python, uh, PHP, um, I wouldn't recommend it for Java, for example. Um, nor C++, um, for Go, Go as well, you know, it has lots of plugins for, for Go development. But yeah, so this is the one that I, I recommend uh, most people starting out because it's very easy, lots of plugins, and it's not hard to learn. So the next IDE that I wanna share with you is this one right here, so IntelliJ. So this IDE, um, I use it when I do, uh, you know, Java development, not so much these days, but, you know, IntelliJ is pretty much the best IDE for Java development. I've got lots of people asking me, which is the best IDE for Java? Well, um, you know, some people say, do you know what, Eclipse is way better than Java, but I, I disagree. So maybe 10, 15 years ago, it used to be the case, but nowadays, it's not the case. Nowadays, it's not the case. So IntelliJ is robust, lots of plugins available for IntelliJ, and it's just like what we professional software engineers use. So I can guarantee if you go and ask, you know, you know, a bunch of developers, which is the IDE that they go for, for that, for, for Java development, then I'm, I can guarantee you they will go for IntelliJ. Now with IntelliJ, they've got two versions. They've got the uh, community, that it, They've got the community edition, and also they have the ultimate edition. So this one right here is the um, community. So I actually don't need the uh, ultimate because um, if I need, for example, the database plugin, I pretty much just use the terminal. So this is the terminal that I use, and this is iterm with ZSH. So this is what I go for. So. Um, and I think that for me, community is, is more than enough. And especially, it's free. I don't have to pay anything. Whereas the ultimate, you do have to pay. Uh, so with IntelliJ, so this is you know part of JetBrains product. So they have this thing called Toolbox. 
and right here you can see that they have lots of uh, IDE. So they have GoLand, which I have installed. They've got Android Studio. This is the best IDE for Android development. And they have PyCharm, the same professional and community. And then they also have WebStorm for uh, JavaScript. But even though I think that VS Code is way better than WebStorm because of the plugins and the support that it has, right? So. And also this this um, IDE, so I, it's not even on my top three, but it should it should be on top four maybe. Uh, data Grip, so this is awesome for uh, database, um, you know, development. If you do lots of, if you, for example, uh, want to see like you know how the database is all connected, the ERD diagrams, uh, it's just awesome. But I don't use it because I tend to do everything database related with my. Um, terminal and this is what I use all the time and uh, the third IDE that I want to recommend to you and that is if you do some Go development then GoLand so pretty much GoLand and IntelliJ are, are almost the same thing but for Go development um, you've got options right so you can use either VS Code which is amazing or you can use um, GoLand but in my opinion because I've been I've been using IntelliJ for quite some time now and I know all the keyboard shortcuts it just makes sense for me to to use GoLand right it's robust it has you know debugging capabilities better than VS Code uh, it's got it's got it has git support built in and it's just it's just all in one package instead of you having to install plugins a bunch of plugins instead of you having to know which plugins that you have to install for VS Code to have the best experience for Go development. So this is what I recommend for GoLand. Um, and yeah, so you can see I also have the terminal. So this is iTerm with ZSH. So this is what I go for. I don't use the, the regular terminal that comes with, with, uh, with, with Mac OS because yeah, no one, no one uses it. Uh, actually, few people use it, but a lot of a lot of developers will go for item. Uh, and yeah, so if you want to learn more about IntelliJ, I've got a full course on IntelliJ right here on YouTube. It's about two hours and a half um, of, of awesome content. So it takes you through, you know, how to get started, uh, how to use IntelliJ, and get you up to speed, and even you know, learning you know a bunch of keyboard shortcuts so that you can start writing code fast as soon as possible. Because, you know, these IDEs, they are great because, you know, for example, Golang, I don't need to know the full syntax of Golang, of Go, Go, of, of Golang because Golang, so this IDE, will help me to, to learn the syntax as I go because of auto completions. And I think this is it's a very good benefit of having, you know, the help of these IDEs. And I highly recommend you to start, you know, exploring these options. So obviously, if you do, for example, PHP or Swift, I wouldn't recommend none of these, right? So the, for Swift, you have to use, X, uh, I think it's Xcode. Um, PHP, you might just use, for example, uh, I think, I think JetBrains, if I'm not mistaken, they have something here for PHP, um, or maybe not. Oh, actually, yeah, they do have PHP Storm. So maybe you want to try PHP Storm. Uh, but also, equally, I would say VS Code does the job pretty well, right? For me, if VS Code had, for example, the full integration that uh, JetBrains products or IDEs have, I'll just pretty much stick with, with one IDE. But I feel like for, you know, pure backend development, you know, I go for uh, JetBrains products such as IntelliJ and GoLang. So also you can see like on my, on this screen right here, right? So let me actually show you a little bit better. So maybe you can see a little bit better. So on this screen here, so this is my vertical screen. And basically this is where I've got, for example, um, this is some code from GitHub, and basically I, I I I do development like this. I open up some 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 code if I need to 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 see how people how other 
developers have done certain things. And then I can just use this in full screen. I can see, you know, the entire code in one go, very easy to scroll down. And then I can just pretty much just implement right away. So this is all I wanted to talk to you. So if you have any questions or is there anything that you want to see from me, go ahead and drop me a message and I'll be more than happy to record a video on best practices of software engineering, development. Pretty much just if you want to see more content, go ahead and comment down below. Go ahead and like this video and this is all for now. I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.